Oh shoot. I hear Enclave. What is this? Open door to shelter. Plungers in here. Uh, what in the hell? These are laid out to look like a person. There's a helmet for a head, and there's two arms and a body and two legs. Is this the guy that was collecting the plungers?
literally climbing the walls. That is so crazy. Oh, there's another one right there. There's an invisible floor or something that it just fell against. Weird. Okay. Well, that was safety interesting. In mindfulness. Doesn't seem to be anything else in here. No other way in or out. This is just one of those strange little spots in the wasteland, I guess. There was one in Fallout 4 that was similar. There was a barn that had plungers all over it. And they went all the way up the wall and they went all the way across like the rafters in the barn. And I don't know if it was a barn or it was a... Uh, it might have been a, a factory or a warehouse or something, but I, I just remember there being a location in Fallout 4 with a whole bunch of plungers. And if you shot them down, then caps fell out of them or something like that? I don't remember exactly. But, yeah. They like putting these strange little things in the game. But this is by far one of the strangest I have found in Fallout 3. <laughs> I have found a lot of strange little things here and there, but this is the strangest. when I came in. It's a tin can on an upside down Nuka-Cola on a coffee mug on a burned, burned book balanced on a bunch of pencils on a chessboard. Oh my gosh. And a stack of scorched books. I totally missed that when I came in. Anything interesting amongst these books? I know sometimes the level designers in these games they do some strange little things as kind of a reference. They'll reference movies or TV shows or other video games and things. Like in Fallout 4 in Nuka World, you can go to uh, Bradburton, the little town. I think it's in the northwest corner of the map of the DLC. And there's actually a uh, like a Dark Souls reference, I guess. I haven't played Dark Souls, but there's a there's a fire with a sword sticking out of it, and there's a, a like a clock on the wall that looks like a sun. It's in a sunburst pattern, and if you activate the sword, uh, you'll get stim packs. Will will pop out of it. And I guess that's a Dark Souls reference. <laughs> but you know, there's all kinds of strange little things like that that they put into these games. Right, before we head out, we had heard an enclave helicopter coming down, so... I am going to get other weapons prepared in case they come at us. 
I don't know, maybe the destabilizer? Or should I just go with the Nova? I'll do the Nova Surge. Uh, no? That was a Nuka Grenade. Nova Surge, there we go. Oh, yeah. Be aware. Talon Company Mark. Of the pr present moment. I think they're up there on the bridge. The Nova Surge is not really a ranged weapon. at DuPont West and we are east of Farragut West Metro Station. That's where the shelter is. Ooh. We haven't gone to the White House yet. Or Burden Square East. Still some places to visit here. 